Yo guys, it's Slyra. You already know that today we are starting a brand new playthrough as I continue my way through the Danganronpa series as today we start playing Danganronpa, another episode, Ultra Despair Girls, uh, which is a game that is, I guess, like a side content game that was made after Danganronpa 2, but I'm pretty sure in the story it takes place before the events of Danganronpa 2. Um, that being said, I'm going to be mentioning past games, so if you have not been caught up on the Danganronpa series up to this point, which would be the first two games... I have those series that you can go watch um but yeah we're gonna go ahead and get into this one uh this is not what i expected the music is very funky the title screen has just like a lot of colors it feels almost like like at a school setting maybe um that being said i have literally no idea what this game is about um but i do know that it is not like a normal danganronpa game i know that i think the steam page has like third person shooter as like one of the tags and uh, so this isn't going to be like visual novel trials, uh, like any sort of things like that. I think it's just going to be completely different. Um, but we are going to learn more details and stuff about the uh, universe. If I had to take a guess, um, one thing I do know is I know the protagonist is some girl that we've never met before. But there was a picture of her in Danganronpa 2. And I think on some of the screenshots uh, on the Steam as well, there is... Um, Toko from the first game, and I do think that other of the girls from the first two games also show up in this game, and I wonder if this has anything to do with maybe uh, confronting any of the despair, um, the remnants of despair, or the... or who knows what. I I, I don't really know, um, but I am interested to find out, so let's go ahead and not waste any time, and let's see uh, what this is about. Um, I do know this game is a supposedly shorter but I, I don't really know what sort of game length expectations to put on this but uh i'm not gonna rush it um but yeah we're just gonna start a new game and see what happens so yeah there's what super ultra punk genocide jack mode for those who just want to enjoy the story why is genocide mode the easiest one komaru mode is all right yeah yeah all right so i think i saw genocide jack in like the 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 pictures as well is komaru the name of like the protagonist maybe and then there's just despair mode uh, we're just gonna go like normal um oh wait there was a thing for voice i just want to like make sure that we're in english okay i want to make sure that we're playing in english because i think that's going to be useful for uh for for this game in, uh specifically let's go ahead and see what this game is about uh first let's set up your camera with auto camera you automatically follow the character you're controlling with manual camera you can control the camera with your right stick this can be changed to options later on so choose uh the one you like for now um Let's let's try auto, and then if it's just, like, no good, then I'll just move the, the camera myself. I think it's better than the other way around. I definitely could see myself um, choosing manual, though. We'll see. According to what I've heard, the world is round. Well, but some people don't think that. that. Really true? Earth might have the shape of rock candy. It could? Like I... that spiky lump of sugar your grandma would wrap in a tissue. <laughs> Sure. But I don't really know for sure. I guess you got to go there like for I've yourself and find out. Seen the shape of the earth. In the same way, I've never actually seen most things that are considered common knowledge. Common knowledge and what we take for granted. We base our lives around such uncertain things. Well, not that it matters for me. I mean, my world isn't even big enough to worry about stuff like the shape of the earth or common knowledge. Uh huh. I'm wondering. In fact, it's pretty small. So small that it's actually a little funny. I'm like waiting. I was like, is this actually the character that's speaking or? This is my world. Hey, this so it is. This bedroom apartment that I live in is my world. My life doesn't extend beyond these walls. Oh? But it's not like I'm a shut-in or anything. I am actually imprisoned oh. inside this room. I was about to say, like, why can't you leave then? All My right. My name is Komaru Nayegi. I'm oh. a completely normal high school girl. Nayegi. Who lives an abnormal daily life. Interesting? I mean, there's got to be some connection to Makoto, right? Like... Interesting, interesting. All right. <laughs> Let me out. Let me out of here. Hey, she 
I like that they're... Ah. So I like that they're mixing in, like, the normal music with this game. It's pretty cool. It's been a year and a half since my imprisoned life began. Oh, that sucks. Is Junko magazines on the table? I think. It's frightening how humans can adapt. I've learned that firsthand through this imprisonment. It's not like I've completely given up, of course. <coughs> if I had, I wouldn't do things like change my uniform every morning. I just don't want to get my hopes up too much. Hmm. Because through this imprisonment, I've learned too much about the horrifying despair that always follows hope. Huh? Who's that? Jeez, <coughs> Yo, same? You wanna share some breakfast with me? About this whole imprisonment. Unfortunately, even I, the victim, have no clue whatsoever. Ooh, that's a Ever pretty good looking breakfast. Taken by strange people into this strange place. I wanted Japanese style this morning. Receiving meals for breakfast, lunch, and dinner is the only communication I have with the outside. Huh. I haven't seen the culprit's face or even heard their voice. I still don't even know why I'm imprisoned here. That's a good question. That's the one I have. But regardless of how abnormal and unfair the situation is, this is my world and my daily life now, so it can't be helped. See? Sucks, right? My it does. story ended before it even began. It's not like I still have hope that something sudden will happen after all this <laughs> time. <laughs> yeah, okay. Who's here to break her out? Huh? What? What happened? Who? Could it be? Did someone come to rescue me? <laughs> please save me! I'm trapped in here! I'm begging you! Please save me! <laughs> I don't want to live this life anymore! Oh, we gotta break out! Oh. Oh. Oh, what is that? Oh. Uh. Hello? You machine? Is that Monokuma? Or something modeled after Monokuma? Oh, yeah. That's a... Big ol' Monokuma. Are we being rescued by him, or are we being killed by him? Uh... <laughs> Velocity. What? What's going on? Are we gonna have to shoot Monokuma? Okay. I can walk. Ah, I can run. Whoa, what is this? Okay. Yo, let's just like get out of here. <laughs> What's oh that's like fire, okay. Uh oh I can run. Why is there a fire? I can't get through. Uh uh Can we go back this way? Oh my gosh. This is intense already. No! There's probably other stuff that I could have like stopped and seen maybe. Uh, uh, alright, down this way. Here we go. What should I do? What should I do? <laughs> we gotta run. So I guess... Someone why is Mon... Help me! Why is Monokuma coming to, like, kill us now? Who's been holding on to us this whole time? Yo, I have so many questions. What is happening? Run, Kamaru, run. Oh, someone's coming up? Or going up? So scary in a weird way. <laughs> uh oh, I feel like it's not gonna be good news. Oh, Fiakia.
That's the one minute to take out Monokuma. Nice. Are we going to get that weapon? Is that what makes where the shooter comes in? That's me. Future Foundation 14th Division, Byakuya Togami. Ooh. Why are you in the 14th Division? There's so many other divisions. <laughs> I'm sure it's location based, but. I'm just making a joke because I feel like you should be number one, right? Um. Don't get the wrong idea and start crying. I'm not the one who imprisoned you here. Actually, I'm here to rescue you. Then who did imprison me here? Huh? Future Foundation received intel that a captive was imprisoned somewhere inside this building. Future Foundation? It would appear that intel was correct. Yeah. There was no intel about Monokuma being what here. What is the meaning of this? What are all these vermin Monokumas doing here? Monokuma? No matter how you look at it, the timing is just too perfect. Mmm, is there a traitor within the Future Foundation? Just as we show up, a riot breaks out. Now, they must have known we were coming. A riot? Perhaps the intel itself was a trap to lure us here. Oh! Uh, um... Maybe that's how they got the intel. So maybe it isn't just a traitor after all. I do, do know that I take a rock, but likes her traitors though. I'm Get sure that there's that nothing good. Bear thing back there. What was that? What's going on? So you don't even know Monokuma? That kind of ignorance must be nice. No, the knowledge of Monokuma is uh, the greatest thing in the world. He was just like that the first time I met him. Really, he seems a little bit smaller than <laughs> the first time you met him. I, I think he was smaller. This this seems a little bigger. Him? You really don't know anything, do you? I guess I'll tell you, but it will have to wait. Now's no time for talk. Uh, -huh. uh another one. Oh, another five? Oh, there's a lot. We need to get out of here. Is Monokuma always supposed to be this big? I really just always thought he was way smaller. Do you really have an option other than run? Oh, let's go. Let's go. We're going to shoot all the Monokumas. Gun developed by Future Foundation. It shoots program codes with electromagnetic waves. It appears to be effective against these Monokumas. Perfect. Though you should have discerned that from the test shot. I'm on the same wavelength as you. Read the operation instructions included with the gun. And maybe don't You're point it at your, your face. <laughs> what? What do you mean? You can run, can't you? I'm busy now. <laughs> I've seen these annoying bears. I can't just leave them be. Yo, I think they're dead. Run. But where would I go? A member of Future Foundation is on standby at the restaurant across the street. <laughs> also, why didn't the rest of them have guns? Seems like Monokuma's well, just had their way with all of like the just in the, way here. the no name people. They should have had some guns on them ready to go. I guess Byaki doesn't need our help. I thought, really thought that we were going to get our tutorial for shooting right there. Nah, Byaki's got it. Is fine. That being said, I would like a tutorial on how this gun works. <laughs> Pig Boy? I would never eat at a place called Pig Boy. That's such a bad name for a restaurant. Wow. Is this what the, the first game was talking about with like all the riots in the streets? And all the mechanical Monokumas like starting riots everywhere? I, this is very accurate. If this was going on, this would definitely cause like ultimate despair in everybody around the world. Pig boy, save me. Pig boy, are you here? Oh, everyone in here looks fine. There's no riots in here. What makes this a safe place? A table for one. Huh? Bear attack. A bear. <laughs> bear yeah. Bears everywhere. Miss, now please. All the military, paramedics, hurry! If we don't hurry, Miss, please keep your voice down. You're disturbing the other customers. Who cares about that? Hurry! <laughs> All right, fine. Please uh, just be quiet, me, okay? One order of relax and stay <laughs> calm. Ugh. Hungry. 
Hello? Police? Some suspicious girl is- Oh my gosh! Oh, that was so scary. Oh, this is like the start of the riots? No, that can't be right, because then why would um, she be in, in, like, in prison for like a year and a half? That wouldn't make sense at all. Well, it's not entirely true. We have a weapon. All right, I asked for a tutorial. I think I'm about to get it. Yo, this is violent. Like, I know the blood is pink, but, like, they're just Emergency. murdering people left and right. There's nowhere to take refuge to. Alright, this is on us. We gotta do this. What should I do? They're gonna find me. There you go. Read the instructions. I gotta escape. I really wanna see this transformation of Kamaru into like a scared, like helpless, don't know what to do, into like fighting and being like I hope by the end of the game that she's just like such a badass. Let's go. Let's do this. How do we shoot? Alright, it's time for a tutorial. Thank you so much. How do I shoot a gun? If you press the left trigger button, you ready the hacking gun? Alright, so left trigger fire, right trigger like nice. The right stick. Yep, folks, this is red cool. Alright, so every other shooting game in existence. That's right trigger button. You fire the truth bullet. Awesome. Oh, what is all that? Pressing the X button opens the truth bullet section selection screen. Wait, there's different types. Oh. Okay. You can switch truth bullets with the directional pad. Okay, good to know. You can also switch truth bullets outside the menu uh, with directional buttons. Uh, try using all the multicolored truth bullets against the Monokumas. That part's a little bit different. Oh, I see. Hmm. Alright, so like, just like... Just like, shoot? Does it matter, like, what kind I use? It looks like I have, like, uh, unlimited ammo on all of them. Uh, let's try burning one. Burn! Dance! Uh, detect! Alright, let's just break you. Alright, so dancing definitely kept in place. There's probably, like, combos that you can do. Um, I'll say, yeah, we can still run. What is this? Knockback? Paralyze? Ooh, Paralyze could probably be good. Uh, get paralyzed! Okay, Paralyzed just did that. Move? What does move do? Can I, like, save somebody by, like, having a move? No? What's that? Paralyze, burn, detect. What is Lake? Uh... I, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There's like a bloody handprint there. Oh my gosh. Oh wait. I feel like I need this for a thumbnail. That's kind of amazing. <laughs> uh, what can I do? Anything here? Oh, attack, move, run. Can I, can I <laughs> use Monokuma to attack myself? No, I won't do that. Interesting. There is a limit. Interesting. All right. Let's just like break them. Break is like the most straightforward. There's probably going to be different ways for me to combo different sorts of, um, of, of attacks for different things. Should we, like, get out? Or should we, like, is there more Monokuma somewhere around here? Oh, this one, like, right here. Yeah, I'm not going to mess... I'm not going to mess too much with, like, the different sort of, like, bullet types, truth bullet types, until, like, I feel like I need to. Who that? Who's there? Is this the Future Foundation person that is supposed to be here on standby for us? No. Hello? Who are you people? Masaru, do zombies really say rawr like that? I'm really having trouble getting past that, you know? Mm, who cares? I 
told you, style is important for this kind of thing. It seems so young. Like, what is happening? That's a great question. Be more serious. Didn't I tell you this broadcast was important? This is the Warriors of Hope's keynote address. Warriors of Hope. So mad about. Oh wait, I bet you want to play zombie too, huh, Nagisa? Stop that! This is so bizarre. Alright, well, they all look like they're having a grand old time. Who this? Oh! Oh! Okay. This town, this dirty, lame, Worthless, pathetic, good for nothing town that's nothing more than a penal colony for filthy criminals. It is on this site that we've decided to build a paradise of children, for children, by children. Oh, that sounds great. And therefore, all of you adults will no longer be needed. Okay, well, that's less great. Goodbye. Interesting. Okay. Um,. I just wanted to be known that I've seen that character before, and I knew that that character was a villain, and I was just really hoping that, uh, that wasn't some, like, twist villain from a game that, like, I was gonna get spoiled on. The fact that she just came on a live broadcast like that, it was just like, I'm evil, I'm going to, like, you know, do evil things. I feel so much better about. Um, interesting. Alright, well, I, I mean, this is the introduction to Ultra Spare Girls, how about that? <laughs> This seems like it's going to be a little bit more action-packed. It doesn't... It's not... So, I didn't know what to expect when I heard, like, oh, shooter game. Like, I thought it was going to be completely different. But it still feels very Danganronpa-ish. And, um, I'm actually really excited about this now. I'm hoping the game doesn't get, like, too hard. But I hope there's a little bit of a challenge. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I just want it to be fun. I guess. Kurokuma? What? I don't remember, uh, I don't know what Kuro means. Shirokuma. There's a lot of different Monokumas. Okay, there's Masaru. There's Kotoko. Okay. Jotaro. And Monica. Yeah, yeah, okay. And there's Nagisa. I guess that's the Warriors of Hope. Whatever. It's a cool name. Sounds like it would be more for good people, not uh, bad people. So I guess from their perspective, maybe they think they're good. I don't know. I feel like playing with a <laughs> with a, a, a dead guy's body is probably not the first thing you do as a good person. But what do I know? Maybe I'm not a good person. Um. All right. Well, <laughs> the Warriors of Hope. That's the prologue. How about that? Around a year and a half ago, a certain incident completely changed the world. Apparently, the origin of the incident was a student movement at a certain school. Oh, yeah? But the school covered it up. So it was too late when the world finally realized it grew out of control, becoming a monster that swallowed the entire world. It couldn't have just been some riot or student protest. It had to be something far deeper. Yeah. That much should be obvious. It did come from Hope's Peak Academy, after all. Yep, yep. Eventually, we know about all that. The incident grew so much in strength and scale that it threw the world into despair. Theft, arson, brutality, murder. The violent crime rate went off the charts. Yeah, and we're starting to see that with our own uh, two eyes now. Violence spawned revenge, which fueled more violence, driving the crime rate even higher. Before long, a global war broke out. A war not for land or ideals. But only for the sake of war. Mm. A war that tainted the world with despair. But even with all this evil and chaos, I had complete faith in my world. Yep, and that's the family picture uh, from the first game that Makoto got to see. 
And even when it felt like I was falling, I kept believing. It's still okay. It's all right. Then, I found out that seven of my classmates had died suspiciously. Mm. I fell further still. But even then, I kept telling myself, it's all going to be fine. Don't be afraid. Okay, so this, all that stuff was before she got, she was like imprisoned for like a year and a half. But the realization that it was too late came to me like the ground rushing up to break my fall. A group of men I had never seen before broke into my house and separated me from my family. Ah, and that's what happened to Makoto's family. The world I had been living in up to that moment collapsed. Everything changed. Okay, okay. And since that horrible and unjust imprisonment, a year and a half passed. I was supposed to be a normal high school girl, but instead, I became a complacent prisoner. I'm wondering if there's any specific reason that she was left alive, or if she was left alive, because I know kind of how Junko likes to operate is, um, you know, she gets the most despair by also offering, like, that smallest thread of hope. And so, if she's trying to crush, like, Makoto, um, or Makoto's hope, then it would probably keep Komaru alive just to be able to tease Makoto with it. That's what I, I, I'm gonna assume that it's something just like that, because outside of that, there's no real reason that they would, um, kidnap her and then just, like, imprison her for, like, a year and a half instead of, like, killing her if they have no use for her, but I'm, I'm gonna assume that it's a use something like that, maybe. And what was waiting for me at the end of that despair was a despair even deeper. Mm. There's no use in keeping hope. That's what I was forced to realize. Once again. I do like that, like, just random bodies are now just, like, outlines of, like, blue and red and just colors and stuff. Does help it be, like, less brutal, because, oh my gosh. If I knew this was gonna happen, I would have stayed in my room forever. No, oh, no, there's another one. I feel like it's gonna find us, maybe... Is that like a boss Monokuma? Ooh. Run. That's right. That Byakuya guy said that someone is supposed to be here, right? Yeah, I was just gonna say that. Like, what happened to that person that was supposed to meet us here? Supposed to be here. Is there someone here? Come on. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Is it you? That suit. It's the same as that Biakia guy's. Uh, are you alright? Or maybe there's like a secret back room. Who, who are you? You shouldn't be here. Hurry up and run. Uh, um, you're from Future Foundation, right? Huh. How did you know? <laughs> because you look like all the other people that look the exact same that are from Future Foundation. I... I was told by a guy named Byakuya Tagami to meet you here. Oh, good memory. Could you be... Are you a captive? I was. Go to the park. Head through this door. And go straight down the road. There should be a Future Foundation helicopter there. Nice. Hurry. Go. Yeah, let's go take a helicopter ride. But what about you? Oh, here they come. Hurry. You gotta get out of here. What about the Monokumas? I'm sorry. Oh, we just leave him to die. Oh, that's so sad. Over here. I'll take you all on. I'm so sorry. Oh, that's so sad. I really thought we were gonna just try and defend him. Oh. Oh. In ruins. All right, what a what a sad note. Uh, however, we are going to end this here. Um, I'm going to do similar thing as to all my other uh, Danganronpa playthroughs and videos. Around the half hour, I'm gonna find good stopping points. This doesn't really set up uh, enough stuff for for us to. It doesn't have enough like auto save points for us to to save like the way that I usually do. Um, but I'm just gonna find. Moments that I think are good to to have a stopping point. So we're going to stop here. Um, 
this is the intro to this game. I am interested to see what is going to happen. Uh, and we are going to probably explore more of this pause menu now that I'm looking at it on the next time. And uh, yeah, let me know any sort of fun tips that you have for me about this game. Because uh, for the first time in a long time, I'm probably not going to be uh, recording too far in advance. So anything that you uh, leave, any tips, anything that I should know about uh, the story, the universe, anything that I might have mixed up. Um, let me know in the comments and I should see it, you know, er, er, within the next couple episodes. So, uh, I would love to hear about it. And, uh, yeah, I am very excited about this. If you guys are as well, make sure to subscribe for more, like the video, and I will, uh, see you on the next time. Uh, peace out.